marketing directly to the RVer has been very successful. It's directly responsible for bringing new campers to town. Last year, nearly 35,000 requests came via the website um, or via phone calls in response to our advertising dollars. So that's a huge thing. When we increase our request every year, that's the element that we're looking at. We want to keep this consistent message out. Um, website management, obviously promoting on the website is a huge thing. People make their reservations and their plans online. We have to have a presence and we have a great website. I hope you've all been to it. Our fourth element is shows, rallies, fam, fam trips, um, some education in here as well. We work with the state anytime there are RV riders coming in for a fam trip, we'll help co op with that. If any of the uh, regional travel associations were to do that, we also want to be involved in that, so we would like a few dollars from the council for that. The Campground Association has a very solid program. It's something we've been doing for years. We don't take on more than we can do as an association, but we have the mission of bringing more RVers to our, our RV parks and campgrounds. RVers have lots of travel options. It's our collective job to encourage them to come to our home. RVers are a prime travel market. They're ready to come. They do have the money to spend. With your help, we can put more of them in Idaho campgrounds and on Idaho roads. As a final note, in the sheet that I gave you, I want you to look at the yellow box at the bottom. This is from the state website. When somebody calls or goes onto the website requesting information, travel uh, publications, one of the questions that, that is asked is, what Idaho lodging do you plan to use? And as you can see, 19% of those people last year said RV campgrounds. So I'd say we get a lot of bang for our buck when we spend less than 2% of the budget that we have to advertise, and yet we have 20% of the folks saying that they're going to stay in so our grant request is generally a very small investment, it's got huge paybacks, and I hope you guys will consider it favorably. Questions? Any questions for Ann? Did I do that good a job again? Yes. <laughs> it's the same RVs. I know. I know. I have uh, one question. Yes. Don't you think at some point gas prices are going to put some kind of dent on this. I mean, we, RV continues to climb and climb, but at some point it's got to flatten out or go down a little bit. Um, that's a good question. Tab maybe can answer that. I suspect you'll see some leveling off in the purchase of RVs, but people who have RVs, remember, this is how they choose to travel. So, you know, I'll ask all of you guys, do you cut back, you know, you've got the big diesel trucks and your big I have a Yukon for sale. <laughs> I have a diesel truck for sale. There you, go. And, you know, it will impact. There are some some RVers to whom this budget is going to be too much. They'll still go. You know, they'll go shorter distances. We'll probably. I would. I would say if you were in Idaho and you were in an RV, instead of going to the Black Hills, you might go to Yellowstone. You're still going to travel. And again, the baby boomers, you know, the people who are retiring well, homes are paid off, kids are in college, they want to see the United States, you know, $4 gas and a $250,000 load in motor home. Not that big a deal. Would you say that's right? Yeah, I would say that the gas prices aren't affecting the RV industry. Basically, gas prices is big thing it does to us. It takes up disposable income and it puts in our gas. And so, you know, if we were going to, rather we were going to go on a trip, you know, I mean, we're still selling a lot of RVs, which is you know, amazing to me in a lot of ways. But the reality is, if you're going to go vacation with your family, you can buy an RV and you can go 10 miles from home or you can drive to some valley and get a hotel room. And it's basically, you know, it's, it's, really, about, it's, it's really about disposable income. Not have one person come in and say, Man, I gotta think about this because I just know where gas is going. They're just all complaining about the gas because they haven't got as much disposable income. It really isn't. So. And I think it's important to keep in mind too that when gas prices
prices increase, it isn't just at the, the pump. I can tell you that hotel rooms go up, food and restaurants go up, all of those things that if you are traveling in an alternative form, if you're going on the airplane, all, all those prices increase. So you can still travel in an RV with your family, get outdoors, enjoy this for a whole lot less money than you can in the hotel room. Not a bad deal either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the uh, the advent of the Yukon and uh, and the Tahoe and uh, next year the Sierra and uh, I can't remember the Chevy model, but the pickup trucks and the SUVs are all coming out with hybrids this year and next year, and that should have an impact as well. And, uh, and those have uh, multiple. Um, they have not only a hybrid electric motor, but also the uh, um, fuel conservation technology that converts the, the engine to a four-cylinder in low power situations and an eight-cylinder and others. So there's going to be a lot of fuel savings available to RVers. Great. Cool. Any, Excellent. Questions? Any other questions? Just the anecdotal evidence. Last year I went to visit my boy at the Air Force Academy. 45 foot it cost me $680 to fill up. Wow. <laughs> 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 it only took half a tank on my head. Thank you. Did you have a Still cheaper yeah. than the airfare, right? Yes. yes. Uh, I just actually just had one, maybe it's more for Karen though. Um, over the last while, you know, we've had discussions about the, you know, the campgrounds private ones that are already in their um, state, obviously, it's federal, a whole different ball game, but where are we on that, or have we made any? We have not made any uh, yeah, further inquiries into that realm, but uh, I have been told that there was some positive viewing of that, and so we can pursue that even more. Excellent.